So I know that pretty soon in life, I'm gonna be rich. I'm gonna be wealthy as fuck. And <laughs> that might sound kind of arrogant, but you're probably gonna be wealthy too if you watch my videos, to be honest. Like, if you can sit through my videos, no editing, no overstimulated bullshit, and you can gain that knowledge without scrolling to the next video, clicking on the notifications that pop up on your screen, that type of bullshit. If you're not the type of person that's just constantly, instantly gratifying yourself, then I know for a fact you're gonna be successful too. It's just a matter of time. And if you have the proper habits that are in line with your goals, which some of your goals may be to make a lot of money someday, which mine is for sure, and if you can just align your habits in line with your goals, then eventually, day in and day out, you'll do the same habits every single day. And then eventually, what do you think is going to happen? You're going to reach your goals, you're going to be successful, you're going to be wealthy. And I've just been thinking lately that you, I, I just have that faith in myself that I'm going to be wealthy someday. I know that I'm going to work for it. I know that it's going to take time, it's going to take hard work, but I'll get there eventually. And I know that when I get there, like I've just heard of all, a lot of... A lot of rich people just aren't happy. Just if you look around at any rich person, not every single rich person obviously, but a lot of them are unhappy and you'd think, what the fuck, if I was in their shoes, if I had Lamborghinis, mansions, Rolexes, I'd be happy too. But really, would you? I think that the reason these people aren't happy is because they think the same thing. They thought, oh, if only I work my ass off, if I spend my entire life doing this one thing, and not caring about my mental health or my happiness at all and only working towards that materialistic item that I want, then I'll be happy. They're like, okay, this is how a lot of people see wealth. So they see it, okay, once I get a car, I'll, I'll be happy. So they get the car, maybe it's just some shit box, but you know, they're happy for a little bit. Then they're like, okay, what's next? Okay, a BMW, I'm gonna, I'm gonna work for the BMW. They get the BMW, are they happy? maybe for a little bit, but then they're like, okay, what's next? Now I gotta get the Benz, now I gotta get the Lambo, now I gotta get the mansion, now I gotta get all this shit. And then before you know it, you have everything you could ever possibly want besides happiness, besides proper mental health, and you're just left thinking, damn, I have everything I could possibly want besides happiness. This is the life I wanted to live, this is the life I thought would make me happy, but it changed nothing. I know that I'm gonna be wealthy someday, I know that you are too, and I wanna shift this mindset that so many people have that materialistic things will make us happy, because in reality they won't, and I'm gonna tell you how you can fucking be happy so that when you get these materialistic things or achieve your goals or whatever you think will make you happy, those things will actually increase your happiness because you're already fucking happy and then you achieve your goals. So I think the first thing to start off with, start off with is happiness and mental health. If you can better your mental health, not only will you be more focused, you'll be less anxious, so you won't just automatically try to do things that relieve that anxiety temporarily rather than going to do the hard work and achieving your goals. Because how hard is it to do some hard ass work or start a business or even just go to the gym when you're anxious? That's the last thing you wanna fucking do is go to the gym. You wanna sit in bed, stay on your phone, and relieve that anxiety by distracting yourself. I feel the same way as soon as I get anxious, the last thing that I wanna do is hard work, so that's why focusing on your mental health will not only get you to that goal faster, but also you'll actually be fucking mentally healthy, mentally happy, and one way you can start by completely shifting your mindset to a positive mindset is by showing gratitude, and also, if you show gratitude while you have nothing, I mean obviously you have stuff right now, you're watching this on a phone, you have fresh air to breathe, you have fresh water to drink. Take a water break, hold up. Yeah, I know you gotta hydrate. That was lovely. But seriously, if you could be grateful for the smallest of things when you're in this moment right now, then imagine how much more happy you're gonna be when you achieve your goals, when you have the Lamborghinis and the mansions that you think you want, you think will make you happy. They're not gonna make you happy, but if you show gratitude for what you have right now, like if you can be happy for just this chair that you're sitting in right now, then yeah, you're gonna be happy for a Lamborghini. You're not gonna be like the rappers that are 
having everything they could possibly want, but you hear them saying that how sad they are and they drown their sorrows by taking drugs and sipping codeine all night. Like you have everything you could possibly want, but you're not happy. That's n no way to live in my opinion. So by focusing on gratitude first, focusing on your happiness first, your mental health, then these things will come faster. And then they also will make you even more happy when they do come. Because if you're going to be grateful for this moment, imagine how much happier you're going to be when you get what you actually think you want. Another thing that I want to talk about that I feel a lot of wealthy people lack is presence. And this also comes with the materialistic mindset that we have. We're always setting goals, trying to achieve goals, trying to have more, trying to get more, rather than just focusing on this fucking literal present moment. We have to stress about what's next, what kind of work do we have to do next, what's our next step in life. We're always wanting more, always trying to achieve more, rather than just being in the present moment. And if you try to just go achieve your goals and you're in the present moment, not only will you be more focused on what you're actually wanting to focus on, you'll be clear-headed, focused, you'll be stress-free. I mean, obviously, whatever you're trying to work on is probably stressful if it's pushing, your to pushing you towards your goals because nothing in life comes easily, but having presence allows you to just get in that flow state so much easier. It allows you to clear your mind and you only focus on what the fuck is happening in front of you rather than stressing about what you gotta do next, what happened in the past. There's many other ways to better your mental health, be more happy, enjoy this moment more, be more positive, but two of my favorite ways are showing gratitude and meditating, being present, being in this moment, not stressing about anything that's happening, not judging anything that's happening, just observing it and saying this isn't good or bad. Shit's just literally going on, it's just literally happening. Why not fucking enjoy it instead of constantly stressing? Just like gratitude, this shit takes practice. I highly recommend having a meditation practice. Whenever you notice yourself overthinking, just ground yourself in the present moments, take a deep breath, just observe one of your five senses. Also, I recommend gratitude journaling in the morning. You can also just normally journal, just write down some thoughts, get deep into your mind, solve some problems that you have, and that'll also help your mental health. And it sounds kind of weird to journal and might sound even childish like you're in second grade but honestly it helps so much it's helped so much to write some ideas down write your thoughts down and it'll help your mental health a lot too unfortunately material items won't do that they won't better your mental health they won't make you happier no matter how much you think those things will think about the last time you got whatever the th you wanted maybe it was a new toy when you were a kid maybe it was a new video game maybe whatever the fuck it was is that still making you happy today? Chances are you said, nah, actually that game was only cool for a week and now my, I want the next new game. Nah, that toy when I was a kid seemed so cool in the store and then as soon as I got it and played with it, it fucking sucked. That's just kind of how life is. Are the things that we don't have, we feel like we want and wanting means that we lack that thing so we're gonna feel like shit until we get that thing. So that's why I like to get in the positive mindset of showing gratitude, just being grateful for everything that I have rather than wanting more and just being grateful for all that I've been through so that I can learn from what I've been through and not stress about the past and obviously be grateful for this present moment. Be grateful for the fucking chair you're sitting in. Your eyes can see, your ears can hear, your fucking breathing fresh air. Life's good. I know someday you'll be extremely wealthy, you'll be overly abundant, you'll be sharing that abundance with everyone, and you'll be sharing that positivity with everyone too, but you can't do that unless you work on your mental health, you work on yourself, and you work towards it. So start with gratitude journaling, meditation, regular journaling, learn how to better your mental health overall, and you'll see every aspect of your life start to get better.